Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And I have been doing some research. Uh, so I've been looking at stuff uh, mainly on IMDb recently, and I've been finding like the companies that are doing the visual effects for the film. Someone mentioned to me that they thought Weta was working on the Venom creature design, and I hadn't heard that, so I wanted to do some research on it, and I still haven't found any information on it, so if anyone has any links or anything that, that might say that, let me know down in the comments, because I'd be very interested to make an episode about that as well. Uh, but I found these other four visual effects companies that were working on them, so I actually contacted each company, and hopefully I'll hear back from them. I was like, hey, look, I'm not trying to get any Venom information from you. I actually just want to know what role you uh, you guys play in visual effects because with four different companies working on visual effects they much eat you know must each have like a specific goal and uh and you know so i wanted to kind of know what the overall goal was without spoiling anything so that way i could maybe make an episode on each of these companies so that's something i'm going to keep my eye on and if i never hear back from them we'll still do episodes about them and i'll just tell you what i know and so what the, their past work is and stuff and then as i was going through i saw some other cool stuff about the stunt team um and uh, and maybe a reveal of an actress who's in this movie that we don't know about yet and uh, so I want to do some fun speculation on that in the next episode but this one I'm really excited for uh, because I don't know again this is IMDB other people who have accounts they can edit this information there's a lot of different things they could do to it but there's an actor on here who's been listed for a while now uh, named Mac Brandt and I believe he popped up on this IMDb page when they filmed in San Francisco about three weeks ago or four weeks ago. They filmed, uh, or no, it was about three weeks ago now. Uh, they filmed in a bar. Um, and we talked about that on the episode. I talked about shooting locations uh, that we got from one of the San Francisco newspapers out there. And they posted, you know, extras needed in these like different locations. And there was like this really cool looking bar that's like a castle and everything. And uh, and I was like, oh, that's an interesting looking location. Uh, it's like, it looks very medieval and stuff, uh, for, you know, but, but modernized obviously and uh, and there was a guy listed on there named Matt Mac Brandt who is listed as the bartender and I was like okay you know no big deal he's a good character actor he was in Gangster Squad actually um, which uh, you know he also was in uh, SWAT the TV show the new one um, and Black Jesus and I've seen him around like uh, he's he you just he's got one of those faces that he's popped up in things and he's usually in like one episode of a TV show that you've seen or he's in the background and in, in, you know in the movie but he's got a you know recognizable face and look um, and so they updated his IMDb, I think today. I think it was this morning because I caught, I, yeah, I saw it this morning, but I was on IMDb last night and I didn't see this last night. So I'm kind of curious how quick they updated this. But now he's known as Jack the Bartender. And that immediately struck, struck gold with me because I know what that is. Uh, there is actually a character in Marvel Comics called Jack the Bartender. And uh, Jack the Bartender is also known as the Fulcrum. And uh, and so he first appeared in the, uh, uh, not too long ago, I think I want, want to say like maybe a little less than 10 years ago, uh, was uh, The Eternals. It was written by Daniel Knopf and Charles Knopf. And those two guys created Carnival. And uh, I ever since that show, I've been a fan of theirs. And they came and started working on Marvel books like Iron Man and stuff and Eternals. And I've just followed all their stuff. I was like, these guys were cool. I like Carnival. I want to see what else they create. They did they, they did the Iron Man book leading up to Civil War and then after Civil War when Tony Stark was director of S.H.I.E.L.D. And uh, and even though I hated Tony Stark a lot in that time period, I thought what Daniel and Charles Knopf did with him was pretty good. And it made me kind of fight for Tony and be like, uh, I don't want to believe him to be like a complete jerk. Uh, and then after they left the book, I completely hated Tony Stark after that. So I've always like, I really like their writing style and, and kind of their ideas and what they come up with. So in Eternals, in issue seven, uh, I had, I had the information here because I don't want to like mix up my, my, my information, but it was issue seven, uh, from Eternals where, uh, they introduce this character, the Fulcrum, uh, who is a cosmic character he is uh he runs a bar that the celestials go to and that like all these otherworldly and powerful beings go to and uh, and so there's like you know uh, and, and then of course some of them show up in different forms and there's like the watchers are there and stuff and it's got it's really a neat concept and i'm just blown away that this character they may be the same character it seems too specific to be coincidence uh, that Jack the bartender, uh, a cosmic bartender, could uh, named after Jack Kirby, by the way, um, could be put in this movie. And I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of stunned by that. I, I think the information, it could be wrong for all we know, uh, or Jack the bartender, like I said, could be just a huge coincidence. But I feel like with Mrs. Man Freddy and some of the other references they put in here, um, 
that's probably not the case. And I'm also curious who owns the rights to that character of Jack the Bartender. Maybe they can't call him the Fulcrum because maybe that's the Marvel version that uh, Marvel owns, but maybe the character Jack the Bartender can be used in Sony or whatever. Uh, it first appeared in the Eternals book, so it's not a Spider-Man character uh, technically, so I don't know how the rights work or if it's going to be the same character, but I just thought it was interesting to mention that there could be this connection. I mean, he's you know, they're filming in a bar that looks kind of medieval and kind of like out of time, and they could probably dress it up however they want. Uh, it could just be a bar and it could just be a nod to that and have no connections or whatever. I doubt there's going to be like some big cosmic character in this. But at the same time, what a neat twist that would be. Uh, if you're telling like a sci-fi horror monster story with Venom and there's this, uh, you know, bartender who just seems like a regular dude but uh, may actually know what's going on in the universe. Could be the guy who gives, you know, Eddie Brock answers of where the suit came from. I mean, it's an easy character to create to make exposition for story explanation. Um, I don't know. I'm just going crazy crazy with speculation right now because I'm just kind of blown away by this and uh, and I'm just hoping it's just some massive coincidence but if it's not I did want to at least mention it here on the show and see what you guys think uh, so let me know down in the comments what do you think of the Fulcrum, a.k.a. Jack the Bartender, uh, an ancient cosmic force with the Celestials, the Watchers, and the Horde serving without question. Uh, he is the second most powerful being in the Marvel Universe, second to the one above all. Rumors have said that uh, the Fulcrum is Jack Kirby himself. Uh, so yeah, he's kind of, you know, kind of floating around. He's got like energy coming off his head and his hands and just looks like a cool being. Uh, but he does have a human form as well. So uh, not that Mac uh, Brandt looks too much like Jack Kirby. But again, I like I said, this could just be a nod. It just could be just a random coincidence. Whatever it is, it's cool, and I thought it was worth making a video over. So again, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.